Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about collecting data and organizing it in tabular form and presents them in a single or double horizontal or vertical bar graph. In our daily lives, we deal with so much information that we need to be organized to see the possible outcome of events. When we do this, we deal with a specific branch of mathematics, which is statistics. What is statistics? Statistics is the collection, organization, presentation, interpretation, and analysis of data. There are two important elements in statistics. One is data, and the other one is variables. What do you mean by data? When we say data, they are a set of values used in statistics. How about variables? Variables, they are characteristics or properties of people, objects, places or things in statistics that are being represented by data. Collection of data may be done through survey, interview, or through observations. After the data has been collected, it is important that we organize the data so that presentation Interpretation and analysis will be easy. How to organize data? Organization of data is commonly done through a tabular form. In the tabular form, you get a systematic arrangement of rows and columns. Label properly the rows and columns. Also include the title that briefly describes the data in the table. To understand fully our lesson for today, let's study this example. The pupil government of San Miguel Elementary School has earned enough proceeds to put up a new sports center in their school. This is the reason why they did a survey on the favorite sport of their fellow students. Below are the results of the survey. Make a tally and organize the answers in tabular form. Afterwards, present your answer in vertical and horizontal bar graph. The respondents used the following code. A for volleyball. B for basketball. C for chess, D for swimming, and E for badminton. Presenting the results of the votes and the tally. Let's organize the result in a tabular form. Data gathered and organized can be presented using graphs. One of these is the bar graph. A bar graph is used to compare data from different groups or periods. This can be drawn either horizontal or vertical. These are the steps in constructing a bar graph. Number one, draw the vertical and horizontal axis. Number two, decide what appropriate information to put in the vertical and horizontal axis. Number three, label the horizontal and the vertical axis. Number four, find the highest number in the data. Number five, Make a scale from 0 to the greatest number in the table. Number 6, draw a bar to represent the given data. Number 7, write a title for the graph. 
First, we're going to draw a vertical bar graph. Watch and observe how we're going to do it. First, we're going to draw vertical and horizontal axis. For the vertical axis, we're going to draw six vertical lines. It is because we have five kinds of sports in the table. So the vertical lines, it represents the kinds of sports. The horizontal axis, this represents the number of students. So in the table, the highest is 14. So we can make a scaling of by twos starting from 0 to 14. Then we can draw eight horizontal lines. So for the vertical axis, we have volleyball, basketball, chess, swimming, and badminton. For our scaling, we start from 0 up to 14. Then let's plot the points from the table into our graph. So we have volleyball is 14, basketball is 12, chess is 8, swimming is 9, so 9 is in between 8 and 10, and badminton is 7, 7 is in between 6 and 8. And don't forget to write the title for the graph. So, the title of our graph is San Miguel Elementary School Pupils Favorite Sport. This is the way how we're going to draw vertical bar graph. Okay, the next one is we're going to draw a horizontal bar graph. Watch and observe. This is the way how we're going to draw horizontal bar graph. The graph we draw is an example of single vertical and horizontal bar graph. This time, we're going to draw a double vertical and horizontal bar graph based from the data on the table presented. First, we're going to draw a double vertical bar graph. Watch and learn. For the scaling, I use by 3 because the highest data in the table is 20. So from 0 to 21. Then, are the vertical axis represent the kinds of vegetables. As we see in the table, it's vegetable divided the votes for boys and girls. So let's divide its vegetable for boys and girls. Then we're going to plot the points from the table into our graph. Don't forget to put a title in the graph and the legend. This is the way how we're going to draw a double vertical bar graph. We can present also our answer in a double horizontal bar graph. Watch and observe.
this is the way how we're going to make a double horizontal bar graph. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.